mean, I love the wolves in this movie. Yeah. And they're huge. And I was wondering the choice to do, was it just because you wanted bigger wolves to do it CGI or was there a, a practicality? No, it? listen, I had, I, had, uh, I had kind of visual, several forms of visual confirmation of wolves the size uh, of which we portrayed in the gray. And I wanted there to be, I wanted to be bigger than, than normal because there was a, initially there was a, a kind of a plot point of discussion the guys had where it was basically one of the guys asked Otway, why are they so big? And he said, it may, it may be genetic, their size, this idea that they've never, that they have to take down bigger game. And so by their, by the nature of, of something in evolution, which I'm fascinated by, which is adaptive radiation, basically saying if you're in, a, if you're in an environment long enough, your genetics will begin to change to adapt to it. It's like they just had a, there's just a story about the, these children, these Sherpa children being born with 25 more genes than they've ever, than they are because of the altitude and because of the lack of oxygen. So I think that's fascinating. So that was kind of one of the reasons why these wolves were so big. Uh, but again, but I also had instances in real life where they, they, these slain wolves were huge six foot five you know on haunches so those are big big animals well, and that thing you were just talking about that that fascinates you was that something you want to sort of explore with the human characters in the film as well to see how they adapt to their yeah. survival to their yeah absolutely territory? and i think because i think we're so woefully kind of out of place if we're not in the city or not you know what i mean it's like we don't I think we've lost that skill set that would allow us to survive something like that you know what i mean yeah. that we don't have the the essentials to, to, to be able to, to crash and go, okay, I can figure out, I know how to make a fire, I can fashion a weapon, I know how to, I can find food, you know, so on. So, yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to examine all those things because I think I would be the first one to kind of curl up in a ball and cry until I froze to death in my own tears. You know? so, <laughs> but no, but it was, uh, it was, uh, yeah, I think those are, those are all aspects that were, very, that were really interesting to me. Um, what was it that you enjoyed about working with Liam on the A team that made you want to a work with him again on another project right. and then feel that he was right for this film? Well, I mean, with Liam, it's like with the A team, as much fun as we had, you always felt like it was like, you know, it was like uh, like a like a major leaguer. It was like you know, uh, a guy playing wiffle ball. You know what I mean? You know, you <laughs> just swat it all over the place. So, uh, knowing kind of what his capacity is and what his capabilities are. Uh, he seemed a natural fit for this, and a kind of a, of a natural extension of this character in Otway was a guy that Liam kind of lives and breathes. And I think that's why he's so good in the film, is because it's so kind of of him. And, and he completely possessed what that what Otway was. And it's funny, I can't even, and we had you know younger actors in mind, I can't even imagine what the film would be. It wouldn't be what it is if I had that, if, if I went with somebody younger. It wouldn't have the same gravitas and the same power, I think, and the same import that Liam brings to it. Yeah, and, and as a director, does shooting in those weather conditions, I mean, how does that affect the production and the, and the crew and the shoot? Well, I mean, listen, it affects you in a very <laughs> immediate and direct way. I mean, you're forced to deal with everything. You're forced to deal with every, every time the wind shifts, it means something different. It's like, well, here comes, you know, you see to watch cloud cover actually approach you and then overtake you. I've never had that happen in my life. Like you're, this is, these are clouds. I mean, it's like, what the hell? Like I've never experienced that. So it was like every little thing was magnified, you know, and, and there's a scene in the film where they're trying to get back to the guy and he's from me to the door away. And you realize you can't pull your feet out of the snow fast enough. And that was a real situation that we were in. And it's just like, I, you can't adequately, the only thing I could do is try to portray it. You can't adequately depict that unless you're standing in it, you know.